U.S. stock market. Because the load of bonds to coronavirus very volatile, a dramatic declining worst level coronavirus or COVID. You found it. The Bite Me podcast is on the air. I'm John Lopez. That is Captain Scott Knoll, and hopefully we'll get you away from some of the things going on in the world this week. Little Game of Thrones action for you there. Do any of us feel like our lives are truly in danger right now? From our wives, I have been officially threatened. I feel like one phone call and might be one less person in this house. If I don't make that phone call, might be one less person in this house. Public enemy number one in the McCumber household. Hey guys, welcome to Locked Inside, Can't Do Anything Today, Let's Make a Tutorial Video. What we're going to cover today are knots. I know there's a million different knots out there. This one's better, that one's better, this one's easier. Um, I am not going to cover those. <laughs> so what I'm giving you today are the knots that I use on a daily basis. Not every knot out there, say not again. Not every knot out there did it. Anything I pass forward to you is not going to be something that I'm just throwing at you. It's gonna be something that has proven itself to me, therefore I feel like it's worth giving it to you. What we're gonna to cover today, loop knots, leader knots, tying directly to your lure with braid, and the mono leader underneath the popping cork to hooks, jig heads, whatever. What we're gonna call this is Six Minute Saturday. Let's uh, get the timer going, and we're at Six Minute Saturday. All right guys, let's jump straight off into this. The first thing I'm gonna show you is the loop knot that I use. I'm gonna use this thicker line right here so you can see it, then we'll do it with the leader in a moment. So what you do, take your leader line, this is representing your monofilament fluoro, whatever you're using, and just put a simple overhand knot. That's all it is. Simple, just one loop through. All right, tag end goes through your lure, back out. Now here's the important part. See how this comes out this way? We're gonna go back in from the other side. We're gonna go through it. I'm gonna get my lure as close as I can to this little knot as possible. And we're gonna go through it. We went through it once, so here's two times and three times. At this point, I would bite this with my teeth, wet this to slide it down. But at the end of the day, what you're gonna get is this style of loop knot right here. Very secure, very good. It's a quick knot, easy to tie. All right, now that we've gotten that out of the way, we're gonna jump straight to the leader. This is a 30 pound monofilament. I don't get too wrapped up in what's, whether I'm using mono, fluoro, whatnot, but I do almost always use a 20 to 30 pound leader. So once again, we're gonna make a loop out of it. Go overhand through the loop once. That's it. Get our lure, quirky, whatever it may be. Thread it through the eye. Came out this way. So we're going back in this way. So we're through it one, two, three times. At this point, bite it, wet it. And then all you're gonna do is cinch it down with your main line. And there you have it. Very dependable, very easy loop knot. It's easy to tie in any condition, wind, rain, whatever. This knot here, this is how I tie anything to a popping cork. Jig head, hook, anything. This is how I tie it to a popping cork. Very straightforward and simple. Take your tag in, run it through your plastic, or whatever it may be. Then I just grab both of them right here and I twist this thing five, six, seven times. I know I've, I've tried every number out there, whether I meant to or not, and I haven't had them fail on me yet. So once you get it twisted up, you take this end, run it through the loop that you made by twisting it, and then back through the loop that you made when you ran through the loop, okay? Then all you're gonna do is pull it tight. Once again, I wet it and give it a pull. And that is it. You're gonna end up, let me trim this right here. I usually trim this, like I said, about an eighth of an inch. 
what you're gonna end up with is a real nice stacked hangman's knot looking knot. Next is my leader knot. Now, like I said before, there are a ton of knots out there. This is the one that I really like and I'll tell you why. So first thing we do is we cut our leader to the length we want. Mine are typically two to three feet long. The reason I like this knot is whenever it's windy out on the boat, some of those fancier knots get pretty difficult to tie, as I'm sure some of you have found out. But all we're gonna do, we have the tag ends to both of them right here. I'm gonna put one end of the leader in this hand, along with my main line, and then over in this hand is the end of my main line along with my leader. That simple, we're just holding them side by side, okay? What I usually do is I grab them in the middle, fold it over just like the loop knot was, okay? Make sure that you have room on the end of your line. Okay, so we're folded over, and we're gonna go overhand. One, two, three times. And then when we pull it tight, I always wet it. When we pull it tight, we're gonna hold all four lines, two and two. And we're just gonna pull it together. Once I get all four lines pulled tight, then I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab my main line and my leader line. And I'm gonna give those guys a good solid pull. Okay. Whenever I trim the tag, I'll trim the braid pretty short, and then I will trim the mono pretty short. There's probably less than an eighth of an inch there. So that's it. That's my that's my leader knot. I use this every day. This knot has not failed me. I don't know the name of it. A friend of mine showed this to me. Thanks, Rick. I've been using this for about eight years. I can tie it in the dark, I don't, no light, wind, rain, doesn't matter. Quick and easy, on the water, while you're waiting, you know, slap a new leader on there and, and get back to work. All right, last but certainly not least, whenever I'm not using a leader at all, I use this knot for absolutely everything. This thing, once again, has not steered me wrong, which is why I feel comfortable passing it forward to you guys. So all you do, fold your line in half, and then I always take the extra time to get it as small and as pointy as possible so it's easier to get through the eye of whatever you're putting it in. Put it through that eye. Come on, I, I get all the way back here where I can get the, the most out of this loop, but keep a hold of both lines, okay? Bring them together, make a loop, and I'm gonna go through it once and then twice. This is a polymer knot from the bass fishing world. It's a mono knot, but I run it through twice because braid's slicker and it just makes me feel better. So once you run it through twice and pull it snug, the entire lure goes through the loop you just made. And then I'll often pull the loop back towards me and it kind of turns the knot over to make this part easier. Once you get there, all you do, grab your main line, Slide it tight. That is all there is to this knot. And this thing is a solid knot. A little neat, tidy knot that will not let go. So thanks for being here. Hit that subscribe button if you like it. Hit that like button if you love it. If you can come up with any topics that you would like me to cover, please let me know in the comments down below. And we're gonna get to everybody that we can. Thanks.